Thank you for joining me for my 2019 recap. As you know, every year I do a recap where I basically talk about the highlights of what happened in the year before, and I've been doing this for a few years now, and I really enjoy it. So thanks for being here. I'll jump right into it. Uh, 2019 in review, number one, United the Americas 2.0. We really did it right this year. Brought the winners to New York City. Next stop, Vegan. RV recyclers, two concepts and two ideas and two projects that I believe immensely in, helping bring an end to the use of plastic in the Dominican Republic and healthy plant-based food options to the residents of the Bronx and other parts of New York City. Super amazing, amazing, amazing competition this year. Number two, we turned it into a documentary and it, it's gonna be released in January 2020. Uh, the United the Americas 2.0 documentary. I'm really proud of it, I think it's amazing. 33-minute documentary taking us through the whole journey of what happened from start to finish from the process the winners announcement to the tour to interviews to the meetings that we had at all these different companies and with different venture capitalists really really proud of it number three this year we did something called Latinos Cambiando New York City where we did a three-part video series highlighting three entrepreneurs that I believe so much in Albania, Blangi, and Jorge all in New York City, changing New York City communities. If you haven't checked out that video series, please check it out. It's really, really, really well done. Huge props to Andres, Oscar, and Mao for making that happen. It is world-class content, sharing the stories of three people that are truly making a difference. Number four, this year I threw my name in the hat, threw my name in the ring for a triathlon. Uh, Man, was that fun. It was 12 weeks of very intense training. I had never competitively swam, run, or bicycled. So it was a lot of fun, a lot of great training, meeting a lot of amazing people along the way, from Melinda and Hussein and John renting me the bikes, to Melissa, my amazing, amazing triathlon coach, and to all of the people that were a part of the journey. Uh, as I swam and the John Jay pool and and just all of these amazing people that were in the in the in the process and rooting me on and making me feel like anything was possible and uh, finished my first triathlon in New York City Rockaway Beach a very special place for me as you know and so that was really really special another year at Fordham University uh, doing a leadership course for their students 90% from mainland China have really grown to fall in love with that culture and those people uh, from mainland China just kind and open to learning and amazing and smart and motivated and just really had a great experience uh, my second year there doing a couple of days a week at Fordham. Uh, really enjoyed it. Liz, the director of the program, all of the professors there, all of the trainers there, all of the fellow coaches were inspiring and pushing the envelope on evolution and, and how to teach in a 2020 world, 2019 world, 2025 world, and how to really train on leadership and how to get mentality and mindset right so you can truly do anything that you want. Uh, that which was really, really fun. We had the pleasure this year of launching a mayoral candidate launch video. Uh, Lori Sutton, Brigadier General, who I respect an immense amount, uh, is running for mayor of New York City in 2021, and she asked us to, to do her launch video, which was very special. Uh, many, many full action-packed days of recording, uh, and just telling that story, a woman I believe a lot in, a woman who treats people with immense amounts of kindness, a true leader, and doing her launch video was something that I will always remember and something that was very special. Uh, and she threw her name in the ring and she's making a go of it in 2021. So thanks, Lori, for letting us be a part of your story. Next, uh, you guys know if you're following my content, veganism is very important to me. I am a proud vegan. I have been since May of 2018. And uh, so I'm really, really feeling the benefits, um, loads of energy, loads of clarity, uh, you know, the health benefits personally, you know, I've always been lucky to have good health and lots of energy to share and lots of ideas, but I think that the clarity that I'm receiving uh, and the lightness, just the general lightness around eating a plant-based diet has been incredible, but more than anything, and you all know this, uh, if, you, if you know anything about me, I'm doing, I'm 100% ethical uh, vegan. I, I do it strictly for the animals. I just don't see the point in having other beings suffer needlessly 
And we have so many options and so many different ways that we can nourish ourselves and thrive and be um, kind to the environment and to the animals and to the planet and in turn, you know, envelop and try to represent peace in our plate and also in our lifestyle. So I am just blown away at how valuable this has been and the community that I've been able to connect with in New York City and abroad uh, thanks to Happy Cow for your amazing app that shows where all the amazing vegan restaurants are all over the world. But it really is the community that I've been most blown away by. Uh, thoughtful, smart people, compassionate people. So if you are interested at all in, in exploring a plant-based lifestyle, let me tell you it's the best thing, that one of the best decisions that I've ever made. So uh, going strong in 2019, looking forward to more uh, vegan treats and exploration in 2020. Next, I got to go home for Thanksgiving. I got to be with my entire family for the first time uh, for Thanksgiving for 15 years. Thanksgiving is a very controversial holiday for me. Uh, I'm, I'm conflicted about the holiday itself because I, I know what it means. People had their land stolen and they were conquered in ways that they didn't want to be. So I don't support the idea of Thanksgiving as a holiday, but I do believe that we can see a bigger picture, which was getting together with family, people that I love very, very much. And it was so special to have everyone around the table. And for me, it was just a night of celebration of, of, of thanks, Thanksgiving, but not because of the holiday, but because of what it represented. And I think that I try to live my day, life every single day in gratitude, um, and getting together with people that I love was just one more way of making that happen. Last but not least, I, I finished the year uh, on a VIP tour. And a VIP tour is, is a couple of different things. Number one, it's very important people and very important projects. So let's start with very important projects. I was invited to be the Master of Ceremonies in Bulgaria, in Sofia, Bulgaria, for a very good friend of mine. Uh, a project that he launched, a legal incubator, giving young lawyers the opportunity to serve marginalized communities, vulnerable communities, and give them great legal care. Fred Rooney has been a great friend and a mentor to me for so many years. And being able to be a part of this launch in the Balkans, the first legal incubator in the Balkans was so special and being able to be a master of ceremonies was amazing. Um, but taking that time to go there and be there and support and contribute my gifts and talents it was, was incredible. And then, very important people, I'm on a VIP tour right now. In fact, I'm in California, in San Francisco, uh, on New Year's Eve, making this video for you. Because I believe so much in investing in the people that you love and I have been traveling all over the country for the last couple of weeks, all over the world really. I was in Lancaster with my best friend from college, Paul, and his wife Serena and their baby Damiano. Had an incredible time there. Uh, and now here in California, I'll be seeing my friend Priya. I saw my best buddy Alex. Um, I did my birthday with my brother and my sister-in-law and my little niece and my mom and dad because I wanted to celebrate my birthday flying in the air of Chicago from London, uh, from the UK to Chicago, and then I wanted to be with them on my birthday. And I was able to do that and then with my parents uh, over Christmas and now Alex and Priya and Giovanni and Ken and all the people that I love here in California. Um, and so I think, you know, for me, it's important to make time for the people that are important to you. And that is something that I care deeply about. And that's my, been my VIP tour off the Dominican Republic in a week. And then I'll be in Atlanta, Aruba, New York again. VIP tour continues. So, uh, and then I just want to close out with my amazing team. You know, my team, uh, Diego, Mao, Oscar, Andres, Alex, you know, so many people, Erica, uh, you know, and, 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 and just the people that have come along the way. Uh, for Some of you guys have been with me for years, some of you guys have been with me for a few months, some of you guys have been with me somewhere in between, but I truly appreciate you, and I truly truly value the work we do. I get to wake up every single day and run Brian Rashid Global, which is my dream, and we share stories, and we be, give people courage to believe in what they're up to, and to share that story, and put themselves in a position to have the life that they want to have, and we do it all over the world for amazing people. Companies like Time that have found a non-toxic cure to pancreatic cancer, uh, treatment to pancreatic cancer. People like Lisa Smith, the author of Girl Walks Out of a Bar, an incredible advocate for sobriety and for the destigmatization of mental illness and addiction. Um, and, and just, you know, I could name 15 different clients that we've worked with over the last year that I've truly, truly enjoyed, but none of it would be possible without my team. 
And without the clients that believe in our team, and without the clients that believe in us, Thomas, uh, Cook, Lisa, Smith, all of these people that, that I truly, truly adore with all of my heart and have served with so much love. So from the video content that we create to the podcast that we create to the high level strategy that I do with different people, I love what I do and I bring all of my strength to it, all of my energy to it, and so does my team. So for all of you that have been a part of this Brian Ratchet Global Movement, from the day it started seven and a half years ago to now, uh, whether you were on the team, or you were a client, or you were a fan, or you were in the audience, or you are rooting us on, uh, or you came to one of my speeches, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see what happens in 2020. 2019 was an absolutely magical year, uh, and I think 2020 is going to be even more full of abundance and light, and kindness, creativity, and sharing. So, Happy New Year. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this family. I don't take one second of your time and energy for granted, and I will continue to serve you in the best way that I can forever.